I got my iPhone right here because my speaker microphone doesn't work on my camera. Okay, all right, let's get started. So today I am going to be recording possibly my most asked for video of all time. So hopefully y'all actually like leave me some likes and some comments on this and let me know what you think. Leave me some actual love because this is, video has been a long time coming. Um, I'm going to be talking about art reps. I have been working with my art rep, art rep for like a really long time. I feel like it's probably almost six, seven years now. My gosh, okay. So I'm just gonna start at the very beginning. I'm gonna go through all the good, the bad, the in-between. I'm gonna answer the questions that I get most often about working with an art rep. Um, and if I missed anything, just leave me a comment or you can send me a DM or a comment on the grams. I am, I'll just put it right here, at Molly Jakes. Go ahead, go follow me, go comment leave some love, all that good stuff. If you're brand new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So let's talk about art reps. Okay, so what is an art rep? An art rep is either a person or a group of people that represent you as an artist. Essentially, they are your manager. They help get you work. They help maintain clients. They help as potentially a liaison between yourself, the artist, and the client. Um, and for me, my art rep has really helped me kind of shift from doing more like wedding stuff, um, a lot of small projects to working on less projects, but the projects that I do take on are usually with bigger clients, they have a bigger budget, um, and my art rep makes, sh she makes sure that I get paid well and I'm compensated for the work that I produce. Um, She's amazing. Her name is Joni Bernstein. If you want to check out her website, you can do so in the links below in the descriptions. I'm going to leave a few links for you folks to check out. Um, so that's essentially what an art rep is and what they do for you. Where to find them. Okay, so finding an art rep, usually the best way to do that is researching on the good old interwebs. Just Googling art reps, that's like the first step. Like that's what you do for everything in life, right? So go on Google. Find a couple art agencies. Um, an agency is more like, it, they're still art reps, but it's usually like a group of art reps who represent a ton of different artists. Kind of go through and find some different um, representation agencies and figure out, okay, what type of artists do they rep? Do they rep any artists that look like me? Um, if you're a lettering artist, you know, look for like, do they rep any other lettering artists? Do they rep illustrators, photographers? Um, all that good stuff, like look for those different things and really look for the types of clients that they work with. Are they the types of clients that you want to work with? Um, that's really important. So say there's one of their clients is like Google and you've been dying to work with Google, then that potentially is, oh my gosh, I feel like I am so bright right now. I am. I am what I am. Here we go. Okay. Um, I feel like you can see me a little bit better here. Okay, so um, go in, check out all those things, um, figure out is this art rep repping the types of clients that you wanna work with? What are their artists like? What type of work are they producing? Maybe reach out to those artists and ask them, hey, how do you like working with this rep? Um, that's kind of a good way to get started before you even apply to a different rep. Make sure that you feel like it would potentially be a good fit for both parties. That's super important. Also, going online, going on social media, checking out um, different artists, maybe you like my work, going on mine and saying, okay, who reps Molly? Or maybe you like a different artist, going on their profile or their website and figuring out who represents them. Uh, that's a good way to find art reps through the grapevine, asking around. Um, back in the day when I first started, I actually found a few different art reps through my professors at CCS. I know, um, what is the art rep called? I think it, it's Morgan Gaynon, I think. And I really wanted to work with them. But of course, when I first reached out, they're like, oh, 
your work is just not established enough, um, which is going to lead me into my next point about actually reaching art to, out to art reps. And that's usually how you find them. In my opinion, I think going online is the best way, looking at what other artists are doing. Um, and so how to reach out to them. This is, uh, this is really important. So reaching out, you want to be approachable. You want to be yourself. Um, you want to be able to pitch them your work as um, it could be helpful to them. So like going in and saying, hey, I'm proud of the work that I create. My portfolio is super strong. I want to work with you. I think that we could be, we could create a mutually beneficial relationship that would work well for both of us. I really want to tap into these types of clients. I think that you could get me there. I think that I have something that other artists don't have. Um, those are all great things to say when you're approaching an art rep. Um, I do have to mention that I think that it is a plus if you have already been freelancing for a while and you know how to work with clients, especially big clients. So if you have worked with any like ad agencies in the past or on campaigns or things like that and you have managed yourself on those projects, then that is going to be a huge flag to any art rep that like, oh yeah, this person knows what they're doing. They are an artist that I want to work with. Um, they already are getting good clients. Um, those are all things that art reps want to see, which I know is kind of like, oh, I don't want to hear that. I'm a new artist. I'm just starting off and I really want to get an art rep uh, because I want to get more work and I'm not getting the work that I want. That's probably something that you're asking your, yourself right now or like worried about, but sorry, I'm going to burst your bubble and let you know that most art reps want to work with well-seasoned artists who have a voice and who have a message and who are somewhat well-known and all of those things. Yes, I know, sorry, not fun to hear, but I think it's absolutely true. If you disagree, leave me a comment. I am open to everyone's comments because I know that I, I'm not like 100% I know what's right. So this is another moment that I think I'm going to burst everybody's bubble and let you know that working with an art rep is not going to completely change your life. It won't. I think a lot of you see the work that I produce and you're like, oh my gosh, Molly, you've worked with these really big clients. How did you get those clients? How did you attract them? How do you do it on a consistent basis? It's really difficult to do that. Um, and even I'm not getting work like that all the time. A lot of the work that I put forward in my portfolio and on my Instagram and all that stuff, um, it, you know, it's only a small portion of the work that I do. And so working with an art rep, I really want to express the fact that it's not going to fix all of your problems. If you feel like you're not getting the work that you want, if you feel like you are not consistent with your designs, an art rep is not going to change that. And you should think more of this relationship as a partnership rather than an art rep working for you. So this is something that is going to be mutually beneficial for both you and your agency or your art rep, and you need to work together on a plan. If I just sit back and I don't self-promote or I don't um, try to do my end of like research and development and who I want to work with and building my portfolio, if I don't do those things, my art rep is not going to be able to get me work. And so don't go into this thinking that like all of a sudden you're going to be getting your dream job because that's not how it is. And frankly, you could get your dream job just on your own without an art rep. And then you wouldn't even have to pay a percentage to your art rep. Uh, it all just depends on what works for you. Be, having an art rep is honestly not for everybody. It's totally for me, which I'll talk about here in a second why I absolutely love it. Um, but next I want to talk about um, what it's like actually working with your art rep. After I bursted that little bubble of yours thinking your life was going to be so much easier. So when, you're, when you are starting to talk with an art rep, you want to ask them a few questions. First, maybe most importantly, you want to talk about what their cut would be of each job. Are they going to be taking 50%, 75%, which I don't think is very common, uh, 25%. My art rep takes 25% of my work. I gladly give her that money because she manages my entire job from start to finish. She makes my life so much easier. I just do not do not have time for all that, that management stuff, which kind of brings me back to that last point that if you have time and a desire to manage yourself, why not do it? You can totally do it. Um, you'll just have to get a list of contacts, which is doable, but it takes time. And that's why hiring an art rep is nice because they can just do it for you so you can focus on your art. So talk to them about the percentage that they take 
going into the relationship, you want to ask them, hey, do I get to keep all of my previous clients? Are you going to take those clients? Um, and then I can only work exclusively through you. Can I work on any projects outside of the scope, like outside of our professional relationship? Can I take on work in that capacity? And a lot of art, a lot of reps will say no, especially like the really big agencies with my art rep. We have like a pretty good relationship. She only manages like a handful of artists. She's amazing and she's pretty cool. So like if I have a friend or a family member that comes to me and they say, hey, I really want you to do this project. Um, I'm still gonna pay you, but maybe it's like not as much as I usually would get paid. My art rep would have no problem with me taking on a job like that. She really wouldn't, she's awesome. But again, since I have a close relationship with her, I can actually ask her those things and say, hey, what do you think of this? Um, and negotiate with her. Whereas if you're working with a big agency that reps like, you know, 100, 200, 300 artists, you're not gonna get that sort of attention and probably they're gonna be more picky. And sometimes I've even talked to art, talked to artists who have um, art reps and their reps don't even let them talk directly to the client, which is so bizarre to me. I would never ever work with an agency like that. That's just my opinion. Um, and so usually the process of working with your art rep looks like um, he or she gets you a job or they say, hey, we have this inquiry coming in. And then um, you can kind of like talk with your rep about how much you wanna charge for it. The good thing about having a rep is that they're really good at negotiating prices. So if you're working on a project that's like a really big budget, your art rep will make sure that you get paid very well and you won't even miss that 25% that you're giving to them because you're still getting paid really well and you're gonna have less of a headache again um, so they do that they negotiate everything often they'll send you a contract or they'll send contract or they'll sign a contract all of that um, and then at least in my situation my art rep passes it on to me then and I get to go through the creative brief with my client maybe hop on a call go through emails tell them about my process, and then I get to work through the job from start to finish um, when I'm working with them. And then once I'm done, I send the artwork to the client and then I send it to Joni and then she invoices them. And then eventually she gets paid and then she pays me. So it's kind of like, that's sort of like what the whole process looks like. Joni sends out promotional mailers a couple times a year for me which I should definitely do another video about that because promotional mailers are a really big investment, but I 100% stand by them, sending them out via snail mail. I think it's a really good investment. Um, I'd like to do a little video about investments in your business later on down the road. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you think that that would be something that you're interested in because I make a lot of investments in my business. One thing that you should be prepared for if you start talking with an agency or an art rep is just be prepared for like a courting process kind of like in dating, like figuring out if you jive well together. I even have a couple friends who have like unofficially worked for an art rep. So they're like on like a sideboard roster where if one job isn't a good fit or like one of their current artists can't take it on, then, um... oh, that's so nice. Someone is out front in our house picking up trash. That's so nice. <laughs> we have trash in our front yard. Um, you're like a sideboard artist where um, the art rep might say, okay, one of my artists can't take on this job. I'm gonna pass it on to you. Let's try it out. Let's see how this goes, if we jive well, all of that. And if you have a chance to do that, totally try it. Like, you know, it's not like an end all thing. Like if you don't enjoy working with a rep, you don't have to do it, but it is kind of hard to find a rep because there's so many artists out there and um, it's hard to stand out. So, oh, how do you know when you're ready to work with an art rep? This is a really good question. Um, I think the best time to like assess if working with an art rep is a good choice for you is when you have so much work on your plate that you can't take the time or it's like you're losing money to like answer your emails, to like chase down payments, to promote your work. You are legitimately losing money by doing that because you could spend more time on producing your work. Let's see, I had a couple questions on my good old iPhone because I asked the other day, whoop, I asked the other day <laughs> what you folks thought about um, the art rep thing. Let's see here. Okay, um, I'm gonna go through and I'd love to know when you should get one. I already talked about that. Um, how do you know an art rep is right for you? 
I kind of talked about that. Um, a lot of it is research on your end. So if you feel like the clients that they are working with um, are clients that you would like to work with and if you enjoy their personality, if you feel like you guys, you folks jive well together um, and you've kind of gone through all those questions and you feel like, okay, this could potentially work and you gotta try it out, that's a good way to know if one is right for you. Um, how do you know when it's time to get an art rep? So that was, that was a good question and I feel like I answered all of those for now. Sorry, so much freaking rambling in this video. I hope the audio turned out. I'm literally filming in my bedroom right now. I haven't figured out where the hell I wanna <laughs> film my YouTube stuff in my house. Um, uh, uh, that's it for now. Uh, if I missed any of your questions, I'm sorry, this is so rambling. If I missed any, if I missed any of your questions, let me know and, um, in the comments and I will do my best to answer all of your questions. If this is way too scattered and I need to make another one of these videos, it's not a big deal. Um, I'm just really hoping that I can get this information out. You can take with it, take from it what you will and you enjoy it. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please, uh, please leave me a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. Okay, what what questions do you have? How can I help you? So leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, see you later.